Welcome to number five, Glebe Place. This beautifully positioned and spacious three bedroom end of terrace Victorian home is located off Lem Terrace in the centre of Leamington Spa. Let me show you around. Internally, we have three bedrooms, a first floor bathroom, two generous reception rooms, and there's a kitchen. From here, as you go through the entrance hallway, you can see we've got stairs rising to the first floor landing. First doorway on the left is not used at the moment, but could be if needs be. We have a second doorway going in because the dining room and living room are both open plan to each other. So let's head on into there and I can explain more about the setup and fantastic features of this home. So as we go in to the dining room here, you can see centrally mounted feature fireplace and that is a Rayburn solid wood range cooker there. Don't worry, there is a mains gas cooker down in the kitchen as well, but that projects heat and obviously you can cook on it as well if you want to. And a lovely feature for this room. You've got an original sash window there looking out onto the southerly facing courtyard rear garden, which is also walled and has gated rear access. And as you can see, we've also got ample dining space. They've got five chairs around there at the moment, but the dining room expands all the way back to here. So you could easily get six people, if not eight people around a dining table in this space. I'm just gonna pan down and you see, we've got lovely oak floorboards in here as well, which are absolutely stunning. And there's also, if I can pan the camera up here, there we go. Picture rail running all the way around both in here and in the living room section. Wonderful, solid timber mantle on there as well. Right, talking of the living room, if I turn around here, you can see we've got this large archway leading through into this lovely living room. It's a sash bay window to the front elevation, looking out onto Glee Place, but we are the last house on the road and next to us are allotments. So it really is a quiet position here, no passing traffic at all. Then we've got a centrally mounted feature fireplace with a timble, timber mantle and a log burning stove. Integrated bookshelves on both sides. And again, if I pan down, you can see this lovely oak flooring in here as well. And behind that tapestry there you can see is, or you would be able to see, is the doorway through, which is why they don't use it anymore because they've got two rooms interjoining each other. Right, if I come down here, minding the cat, you can see just how much space we've got all the way through from the living into the dining room. So as you can see at the rear, on the right hand side, there is an understairs storage cupboard. It's a large storage space. I'm not gonna open it now because well, you know what a cupboard looks like. Um, and then we've got steps which fall down into the kitchen area. Now on the left hand side, we've got uh, under counter storage and ground effect work surfaces over with a one and one half bolt stainless steel sink and draining unit and a brush stainless monoblock tap. On the right hand side, they're freestanding units and a freestanding range master range cooker, which would be available under separate negotiation. To the rear is a double glazed window looking out onto that southerly facing rear courtyard. Whilst on the side, we've got another double glazed window doing the same. If I pan round to the left hand side, there's also a timber and glazed door, which gives us direct access out into the courtyard as well. Now, I'll show you out there once we've been upstairs, but uh, it's a proper little sun trap out there, so we'll have a, a good look in just a second. So there we have it. And that's the kitchen for you. Okay. Turning back round through the living and dining rooms. Go back into the hallway and let's climb these stairs. As I said, in the original description, we've got three bedrooms up here and a first floor bathroom. This is the first bedroom that we come to. This is bedroom three on our sales particulars. Dual aspect, double glazed window, 
In fact, double glazed window to the side, single glazed window to the rear, but dual aspect. And then if I pan up, you can see we've got a part vaulted ceiling with a Velux roof light in there as well. Beautiful, beautiful oak flooring in here as well. Currently being utilized as a treatment room. Make a great third bedroom or home office. Turning the camera around, we've got bedroom two. Similar size, again, it's a good single. Dual aspect windows to both side and rear elevations. And the views all look out towards the allotments as well. So very, very private outlook in here. Going along the hallway, you'll see we've got a ladder going up to the first floor or the second floor, in fact. Um, second floor does have a uh, converted loft room, which is a really useful space. And you'll see from the photographs exactly what that's like. I won't be going up there on the video, unfortunately, because I, uh, I won't be able to fit with the camera and the gimbal and everything else that I've got right now. So you'll have to take my word for it on that regard. It's the master bedroom in excess of 12 foot and that's to the wardrobe front. So take these out and you're probably gonna be looking at somewhere in the region of 14 to 15 foot across. Dual aspect window to both front and side elevations. And again, giving you views out across the allotments and beyond. And we've got this absolutely enormous bed in here, but it would easily take a king size bed, no problem at all. There's quite a lot of furniture in here, in all fairness. So if I turn and stand over this way, you can see bedside table, huge bed, and then five door built-in storage wardrobe there. So loads and loads of storage. So that is the inside. Just a quick recap. We have, oh, hold on. We haven't done the family bathroom, have we? There we go. Don't wanna miss that. So family bathroom here with a white suite comprising low level WC, pedestal wash hand basin and solid enamel bath with chrome uh, monoblock tap. There's also a Myra Sport electric shower just off on the right hand side. So if I can get that back in focus, do excuse me. There we go, just off on the right hand side there as well. Ceramic tiling to all splashbacks and you've got another window there overlooking the uh, the allotments and what have you. Lovely stripped timber floorboards in here as well. So that does complete the first floor. So that's three bedrooms, family bathroom. To the ground floor, we have those two generous reception rooms and the kitchen, useful understair storage as well. Now let's have a peek outside at this walled courtyard garden. Just pop out through the, uh, the access door here from the kitchen. Uh, there is a uh, historic access onto the allotment there, but that would be only if you've got prior arrangement with the allotment committee. As you can see, we're walled all the way around, plenty of space here for outside dining. It also benefits from an outside tap as well. There's a lot of furniture out here and planters and things, but empty these out and you've got quite a big space really. There's also a little ornamental pond just around the corner, the other side of the Christmas tree, which will be going. There we go, and it's walled to three sides. So there we have it folks, number five, Glebe Place in Leamington Spa. I think you'll agree, a beautifully presented and spacious three bedroom Victorian home situated with an easy reach of Leamington Town Centre, the fantastic local amenities and schools. If you have any further questions relating to this or any of the other properties on the books, please do feel free to give me a call on 01926 429 400. My name's Matthew Coral. thank you for watching.